like all the vaccines, the vaccine for COVID-19 is important for everyone so that we can not only protect ourselves but protect the community. This vaccine will make sure that the virus stops to spread and so that we all can be protected against it. And a second note, um, we all know the situation in our hospitals today. They are getting to full capacity. We're, we're having less and less beds, less and less uh, ventilator machines. Um, if we are able to vaccinate everyone, if everybody is protected against the virus, we would not be needing to utilize those hospital beds, or at least we will have them available for other people who unfortunately might need it. So that would be another reason why it is important for all of us to get the vaccine. On a third place, the quicker we get everybody vaccinated, the quicker we get all protected and immune against this COVID-19, um, the quicker we'll be able to go to what we used to know as normal life. So be able to open schools, be able to go back to the movies, be able to go out and eat in restaurants. So there is more than just personal benefit in getting this vaccine. The vaccines in general, what they do is they help us create immunity or protection against different types of diseases that can be caused by virus or bacteria. Specifically for COVID-19 or the vaccine against COVID-19, um, what it does is it gives us, or it, the vaccine contains mRNA or RNA that is called messenger RNA. And this little particle, what it does uh, once it enters our body is it stimulates our immune system to create antibodies. Antibodies are small um, macroscopic particles that will prevent um, the virus to enter our body and make us really sick from it. Um, so as I said before, the, the vaccine what it contains is mRNA or messenger RNA. It does not have live virus, so the vaccine does not give us the virus per se. And there is no other substances like microchips or any other kind of um, information that is contained in the vaccine. So today, as you all know, we have two vaccines um, that are available and that have been authorized to use um, in our country. We have Pfizer and Moderna. They're both very effective vaccines. Um, Pfizer is around 95% effective and Moderna is 94% effective. But it's very important that we all complete the series, which is two series or two doses um, for both vaccines. So once you get your first dose, depending on whether it's Moderna or Pfizer, you will have to get the second dose either three or four weeks, depending on um, the type of vaccine that you've been given. The only way the vaccine is going to change your body is by giving you protection against COVID-19. There is no other way that the vaccine is going to um, affect you. There are some minor side effects that have been noticed. Um, some people will have some soreness in the site or the inoculation site. Some people will have some redness, some swelling. Um, there's also been some reports of people feeling a little bit like as if they were going to get sick. These symptoms last, last, last maybe one or two days, no more than that. Um, there have been some reports also of anaphylaxis or also known as a generalized allergic reaction. Those are medical emergencies and that's why um, people are asked once they get the vaccine to stay in the doctor's office or in the clinic where you're getting the vaccine for the next 15-20 minutes just to monitor that you don't develop those um, serious allergic reactions. Um, if you do have a history of allergic reactions to vaccines, you do want to let your medical provider know before you get the vaccine.